Recognized for the success of his ideas in Peru, Hernando de Soto has been called upon by over 30 heads of state who are eager to fight poverty and create a market economy for all of their people. What began in defiance of the shining path has now assumed a place on a broader world stage. We do mention that government has got to make reforms. He is promoting his recipe for change to developing and former communist countries around the globe. These people are the engine of growth. Without hardly any assistance from the outside world, they are changing slums into cities. It's these people that produce the wealth. While many Peruvians remain trapped in poverty, the country has undergone a transformation. Almost half of its citizens now own title to their property. Peru's average growth of four and three quarters percent over the last 15 years is greater than most of its Latin American neighbors. And according to the ILD, Peruvian families have obtained over $800 million in credit and increased their personal incomes by over $4 billion. Some who study and work in the developing world challenge De Soto. They say that property rights and business law will not transform all cultures. That in some cultures, the basic concepts of capitalism are just alien. For ages, we've been told that we are different, and it is true. We have cultural differences, but we are all looking for the same thing. We have families, we want to give them homes, we want to do business, we want to create prosperity, we want to have security. Others say that systemic reforms alone are not enough, that positive change will require many programs working together. De Soto agrees. Creating the rule of law the way we do is of course not a silver bullet. Development is very complex like life itself. You've got education that's involved, uh, you've got health that's necessary, you've got enforcement that is all part of it. But if you do not have an order that tells you who owns what, who is where, and who's accountable for what, none of the rest work. Hernando de Soto has seen firsthand what can happen when the power of the poor is unleashed, when ordinary people have identity and ownership. In the turbulent world that bridges the 20th and 21st centuries, he has discovered an essential truth, that ideas are as important as concrete and steel, and in the end can triumph over bullets and bombs. Hernando de Soto has discovered the power of the poor. <laughs>